Hello, welcome back to the channel and the £500 to £15,000 challenge. Told you I was getting on it, so I'm about to go and look at a car. It's one I've seen on Facebook. Um, I went last week, well, six days ago, to Barn Oldswick. I've seen a Corsa on Auto Trader. 950 quid I think it was up for 2014 plate with an engine fault I think um, apparently the garage is around there didn't know how to fix it phoned the bloke I think twice in the morning no answer sort of no, no message back no call back so I thought fuck it we'll drive there anyway it was about an hour Hour and a half ish, hour and forty minute drive. Um we'll get there, give him another ring, and then you know if it if it is available I'm there to see it. So we got there, phoned him again, still no answer. Text me back saying, Oh the car's gone, sorry mate. So that was that. So while I was there I jumped on Auto Trader just to see if there was something that I could uh, sort of get while I was there. <clears throat> The only thing that sort of caught my eye was a Peugeot 207, I think. Was it an 08 plate, 07 plate? Pretty low mileage. 600 quid-ish, I think, was it? But it was overheating and whatnot. So I did like a, a search for what they go for in good condition. And they sort of about 1,500 quid. So by the time we... Dipped about with the engine, you know, has it done the head gasket, paid for somebody to obviously pick it up, it'll have been a couple of hundred quid to get it back to where I live. Obviously with the Corsa I didn't mind because that was going to be three and a half, four thousand qu four thousand pound car, so I could justify spending two hundred quid to get it home. But anyway, the car we're going to today, now I'd seen it on Facebook a few days ago, but... It's one of them cars, it just doesn't do anything for me. Like the Citroen C3, nothing about it. They don't even do like a fast version of this particular car. It's just bland. I, you know, I've never wanted to own one, never really wanted to drive one. So, comment below what you think it might be. <laughs> before we go and potentially buy it. Um. But the low mileage is attracting me. It's done 35,000 miles. Um, I did a sort of a vehicle check on it. Um, 2.99. Is it Vehicle Smart, the app that I use? Just to make sure it hadn't been written off in the past, which it hadn't, so that's a bonus. Um, bumpers apparently need painting, but I'm gonna go and see how bad the bodywork is in about 20 minutes. Right, so, so yeah, we're in it now. It. Um, if you can tell what it is from the seats, then uh, yeah, well done. What can I tell you? It drives all right. Thirty-five thousand five hundred and ninety-five miles. Although I'm sure the advert said there was service history. Uh, can't find any. I've only got some fucking receipts for shit that's been done but don't know whether that's going to put me off or not the air con is ice cold just put that on now yeah boosts all right no warning lights on the dash there's a bit more bodywork damage than expected we've got a dent in this door here some scratches along here on this rear door a bit on this arch the rear bumper's knackered but did say that in the advert. I mean, the passenger side looks pretty decent from what I can see. Well, what's this here? A bit of shite there, whatever that is. And then obviously, bumper wants doing there. Let's just quickly pop the bonnet. There we are 1.6 litres. TDCI power. 
I mean, it sounds all right, drives all right, turbo's doing its thing. So, yeah, it's how cheap can I get it? Wish me luck. Right then, I'm just in the range car park. Plan is to get hold of some paint. Uh, they've got a small selection in there. Uh, I did get some for this Beamer actually, out of the range. I haven't used it yet, but uh, we will. We will. We'll get there. Alpine White Three. I think. I think the paint was for this. And the Citroen C3. You may have seen in my Deplete the Fleet videos. Uh, the paint from the paint for that was from the range. Uh, I wasn't happy with it. I don't know whether it was me, sort of doing a big area out of an aerosol or what. But we'll give it another go. Um, yeah, let's go and see. If they've got some. If not, it'll have to be Halfords. Get bum raped. Wicked, so we got everything we needed there from the range. Uh, I reckon if I'd have got the same from Halfords, it'd have been another tenner at least. We spent 26 quid something. I didn't get the receipt because I just I've got a habit of you know saying, Oh no, I don't need it, but yeah, we'll deduct that from uh, from this. While we're on the subject of that, in the last video. Uh, I did mention the cost of that Kia, but I forgot to deduct it from there, so 1,500 quid off. 2,500 on, if I didn't put it on. I don't think I did, because the video ended, didn't it, abruptly. Um, now there's the case of the parts that I'd fitted to it. The front pipe, spark plugs and oil filter I bought through work, but that was before I was made it redundant. Hadn't paid for them, but obviously now I've been made redundant. I'm not going to pay for them, so we've got some free parts. The engine oil I did by myself, I think it was £22 something, so we'll take that off there now. That should be up to date, apart from actually, we better remove 650 quid for the cost of the Ford Fusion we've just bought. Um, yeah, and I suppose we should. Uh, cut to some body filler and bodywork preparation um we'll do that front wing first i think let's go i'm just interrupting the bloke who sold me that fusion has offered me this 2009 suzuki splash <laughs> Never even heard of it, or I have never even driven one. 
700 quid, 56 and a half thousand miles. Apparently there's six stamps in the book. I haven't seen the book yet, so I need to double check that. Um, Bodywork, I think, is going to be the issue. Mainly this here. It's obviously had this door protector put on it because they kept clouting it off something. Ah, uh, oh, the clutch. Clutch is on its way out. It's a bit here. And then the rear bumper's just a little bit... I think they had a dog. I can smell dog in it, put it that way. But yes, clutch is the main issue. If we uh, sort of fourth gear it with handbrake on. It should be stalling right about now. Yeah, and even when you're driving, it's slipping like hell. I'm not sure. If I can hear a bit of gearbox noise, it seems to only do it in first gear, there's sort of a whine. I'm going to obviously take it back now, but if that whine's still there, I'm probably going to, uh, yeah, fuck it off to be honest. I can't really be asked having to find a gearbox, even though they're probably going to be fairly cheap. Yeah, I'll uh, just fucking, yeah, don't mind putting a clutch in it, but yeah, gearbox, fuck it. To say we've still got that fusion to do, I haven't touched it yet. Still got the stuff in the carrier bag, so yeah, stuff's cropped up that I wasn't expecting. Um, my daughter's nursery was shut for a week, uh, COVID outbreak, uh, so that's yeah, scuppered things. Um, in fact, it was the week uh, last week there before she starts school, so yeah, she'd been with me. And the house or the house we've got, we've had. The state agents round to value it so I've had to do a bit of rendering in the yards to get the yards up to scratch so yeah my, my focus has been elsewhere um, but hopefully it's all coming to an end soon and I can crack on with the fusion definitely possibly this if we uh, yeah end up with it well uh, didn't go to plan. So, I don't know. We, we don't know yet. The guy is actually selling it for somebody else, a, f a friend of the family or something, is what he said. So he came out with me, obviously to listen to this wine, and yeah, we're we're in agreement. So he's going to get hold of her or him, her, can't remember. See whether they'll accept any less. I mean, I said five fifty ish. I would take. Uh, I would give for it six hundred tops um gearbox is between 250 and 300 quid on ebay so yeah he's gonna message me well he's gonna try and get hold of her tonight hopefully message me tomorrow fingers crossed see what happens we've done it and now the proud owner of suzuki splash i'll take you out on a test drive see if we can hear this gearbox noise and I'm probably have to find one got another hundred quid off the price so 600 quid not bad we're not gonna need to go very far as I said it's first gear is the only time we hear this whining noise so don't know how well you'll hear it on the camera And then second, it's gone. Now I know, I think the release bearing is on its way out as well. So, because the clutch, the clutch is slipping like hell, so. But that, with it only doing in first gear, I'm pretty sure. This isn't no release bearing noise. <clears throat> what we got then? Oh, that looks very metallic y. Shit.
There's some pretty big chunks of metal in that. Hmm. But I did say, I don't think we'll be able to save it. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick up, but very glittery this oil, which, you know, means one thing. Is that a chunk there as well? Hmm. Let's empty it and see, see what we're dealing with. This is the bottom of the bucket. I think it's safe to say, oh my God, what is that? Well then, gearbox has turned up. I only can order it about two days ago, so that came pretty sharpish. Uh, I've got a job on tomorrow, so I can't start it probably till well Saturday or Sunday. I might be able to get a start, but yeah, lovely. Hopefully, this one is in better state than that one is. Um, the company it was off eBay, and the company did provide a warranty. However, it had to be fitted by a VAT registered garage or some shit. So, if there is that wrong, I'm probably fucked, aren't I, really? But, fingers crossed they know what they're on about. Right, I've just got this door edge roughed up now. Just with some memory paper, 60 grit I think, or 80 grit, ideally, a bit of rust converter or something on there, but because I'm not keeping it, it only needs to look good for sale, I'm going to whip this lock out, T40 I think in there, that should come out, just mask the handle up, that will pull out and come away, not sure how far we're going to be painting yet. Right then, just got a tack cloth, I'm going to wipe over, just get any dust off. Dolphin glaze, this is an ultra fine filler, for that it'll be perfect, it's only a thin skim. And it's less prone to getting pinholes than a standard body filler, which seems to happen quite frequently with me. Don't know if it's my technique or what. And then just this, onion board, <coughs> which, uh, yeah layers of paper, I don't know how many, 50 or so, but yeah, mix your filler on there, when it's dry, rip the sheet off, bin it, tidy, give it a good uh, mix up, the heat may have done something to it, so I'm going to in a golf ball, a filler, ish, oh god, stop leaking, stop, stop, And a pea of hardener. It's the usual thing, isn't it? Mix it till it's streak free. I think that might be it for now. Just get it slapped on the edge. We can sand back wherever we need to. Uh -huh. Look there at that now, right then, that is going to be it for this episode. Time is getting on. Although I don't think we've done much, have we? Just me waffling on about shit and stuff. Oh, we've bought a couple of cars. Yeah, we've bought a couple of cars. Done a little bit of bodywork. 
well, put some filler on. Yeah, so next time, the gearbox is going to be done. We might even start, I'm not going to say finish, but on repairing this door. So thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.